Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. We made it through the Wichita Swap Meet. We had a great time. If you guys have been hanging out with us on here for a while, you know that last year it got canceled. Actually, I saw some of you there two years ago when it got shortened. Yeah, two years ago in 2020, we got there. We set up Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Everything got going Friday morning. They came around about one o'clock on Friday afternoon and said, that's it, we've got till five. The city of Wichita forced them to shut down and there was no Saturday to it. The only thing that could happen Saturday were the vendors were allowed to come back and pack up and leave Saturday morning. So that's what happened in 20, 2021. It got completely canceled because they couldn't get an answer as to whether or not they were going to be allowed to have it. So they ended up having to cancel it last year. Finally, this year, 2022, we were back in Wichita, Kansas at Century 2 and had a full two-day swap meet. Got to see a lot of friends. Got to meet a lot of you guys, which was great. It was a fun when a lot of you stopped by and said hi and said you watched and you enjoyed the show and you had ideas and participated. And uh, that's always great to put uh, faces to some of the names. So it's good to see a bunch of you and meet a bunch of you that I hadn't met before. So John and his crew uh, with the Wichita Sunflower Swap Meet for Charity did a great job. And uh, come to find out, I didn't know this till we got there, we almost didn't get to have it again this year, believe it or not. Six weeks ago, they contacted him and said that we don't know if you're going to be able to use the hall or if you are allowed to use the hall, you may be very limited on the amount of people that are allowed into the facility. Well, it's kind of tough to have a swap meet and then uh, not be allowed to let anybody in. So six weeks ago, this thing was on the rails again this year. They finally got word that they were going to let them do it. It was going to be opened up. Everything was going to be fine, except that was just about four weeks ago. Now, you think, okay, well, most of the legwork should already be done, and it was. However, you've got, there's, this facility is almost 100,000 square feet. There's over 1,000 swap spaces and over 600 individual vendors that had to be contacted, make sure everything was set up, make sure everything was good to go. Monumental task to put all that together. John Sainton and his crew did it all, and the crazy part about it is they do it all for charity. Yes, the profits from this do not go into anybody's pocket. They go into a charity in the Wichita area to help other people out. So they got this thing pulled off. They did an astronomical amount of work. They did a great job, and they did it in a very, very short time period to make this thing happen. Fortunately, it was a, a successful meet, and um, you know there were still, I think a lot of people still weren't sure that it was going to happen. That was, you know, a lot of that's because they didn't have time to put the word out that yes, we are a go until just recently. But fortunately, they did get clearance. It did come off without a hitch. It went great. Everybody that was registered from two years ago, all that was honored. There was no question about uh, anybody who lost any money that had prepaid from two years ago. Everything ticked along just like it should. And uh, I, I was extremely pleased to see that happen because now that it's going again and we've got a good solid base underneath us, Looking forward to a bright future for the Wichita Swap Meet from here on out. I did renew my spaces for next year, so definitely hope to see some of you there. Now, anyway, what did I find? That's what we all know. What did I find? Well, in this video, we're going to check out some of the inventory that I picked up. So I did pick up some really great hard-to-find pieces that are available. And then what else is coming up? Great badges. If you've been hanging out with us on Sunday night, you're definitely going to want to hang out this Sunday night and the next several Sunday nights because I got four, five, six more new badges that we didn't even have in our collection super cool stuff um got some great stuff for toy tuesday got a super cool porcelain sign for the raffle this month so definitely be on sunday night for more badges and the new raffle toy tuesday is coming up for the next couple weeks got some great pieces for toy tuesday as well so can't wait to show you some of that stuff we're going to focus this in this video just on the inventory that i picked up that is available for sale that I thought were great pieces, good enough stuff to bring in, put on the shelf, because I know some of you guys are going to need it at some point in time. So let's check some of that stuff out. We'll head over this way to start with. 1968 to 72 Chevy Novas. That stuff's getting really tough to find. A set of original two-door doors. One of these is rusted out down in the lower front corner on the inside. On the inside of the door jam where the lower corner rolls is rusted out. The, they cut that out to repair, to patch it and did not get the metal put back in yet. But structurally, they're good doors, good, solid. Original doors on that one corner needs fixed, but definitely fixable doors and original doors. 
Big difference between original doors and new doors. So these are originals, gonna be great pieces. Next thing, 1957 Buick Grill. This thing is in great condition. It's not broke, it's not chipped, it's not all pitted up. These are a really great looking grill. And this one is really in good shape for its age. Another hard to find piece that we picked up, 1960 to 66 Chrome GMC grill. Now, the only problem with this is the headlight bezels are missing, but otherwise it would make a great driver grill. It's got some dents here that looks like somebody partially straightened. I need to get this thing cleaned up. It's got some dirt, some spots on it. But overall, I think this thing is going to polish up pretty nicely, make a good driver quality grill. It's got the letters. It's got the headlight assemblies. It just does not have the trim bezels on it. Another neat piece that I got right here. Not sure what this is, but I think it's Essex. This thing's pretty good sized. It was kind of a mesh. So there's some broken spots in the mesh, but that's okay. I mean, this is probably going to be a display piece from here on out. But the way this badge looks, I'm guessing Essex. We're going to go through all of our Essex badges and see if we've got one that fits this outline and this mounting hole. This is a very narrow grill shell compared to a lot of these from this era. It's not very thick throughout here. It does still have a cap on it. Whether or not this is the original cap, I'm not sure. But it does have a really cool kind of with your ridges in the cap on it as well. So neat piece. A little surface rust, but overall it's solid. Cool piece. I mean, you could put other badges and emblems on this thing. I don't know what we'll do with it, but I'd love to see if we can get a, an Essex badge to go back on this because it's a great piece. That one might end up on the wall too. Now, something else that's getting really popular, Ford pickups from the 80s. Check this thing out. 1980 to 1986 Ford pickup tailgate. This thing is in great shape. This thing was taken off years and years, maybe decades ago. It's got a dent right here above the handle. But that's really the worst part about this. Original paint, original stickers, original two-tone stripe. This thing is in amazing shape. We can see the whole bottom edge is still painted. Take a look at the back side of this thing. A few scratches, but that's about it. We can take a look at the, back, the bottom side down here from the back side. No rust, no damage, just a really clean tailgate. So if you've got a two-tone blue 80 to 86 Ford, that would be a great piece. If it isn't two-tone blue, it's still in amazing shape. It's going to be a great piece to refinish and have a factory, original, original steel, original thickness, correct Ford lettering tailgate for your pickup. Now, Couple other cool things we picked up before we wrap this up right here. Super hard to find. Chevy bumper wing tips, 1947-48. A set of rears, a set of fronts for 47-48 Chevrolet car. These things are really tough to find. These are all solid. As we flip them over, we can see the mounting brackets here. They're where they slide onto the tips of the bumper. Still all intact and all solid. These things will probably need to be replated to be show quality. But, you know, they're not smashed. They're not rusted out. Good solid set of cores on bumper wingtips for a 4748 era Chevrolet. So anyway, that's some of the pieces we were able to add to inventory. Like I said, if there's something there you're interested in or anything else you see on any of the other videos, just give me a call. 620-786-4428. Give me a call. Have a short conversation about your project and what you're looking for to know if I've got anything here that might be able to help you out. So... There's some of the cool stuff we drug in. Be sure to stay tuned for the Toy Tuesdays that are coming up. We got some great memorabilia that we found. And Sunday night, you're definitely going to want to be here. Save your auction money. I got some great stuff. I got some more great badges. And you're also going to need some money for the raffle this month, I got a feeling, too, because I got some great stuff for it as well. So stay tuned. That stuff is all coming up. It's going to be an exciting week. We got some more new inventory that I've been hauling in that we haven't done videos on yet. That stuff is coming up as well. And, uh, Lots of things going on. Thanks for being here. We'll see you soon on the next video. And uh, stay tuned for Sunday night. It's going to be a lot of fun.